All right, I think this one's going to make for an interesting video. So we're gonna use the ultrasonic leak detector. And I already used it under vacuum, looking for leaks out here. You see I have the nitrogen on it, dry nitrogen. I have it pumped up to 189 PSI. It was at 189.6. Uh, let me put it on tightness test now. It already lost 0.6 PSI, less than a pound, but it lost it. And let me enter and get it started so we can start the timer. There we go, we're now starting the timer. Right now we're at zero, zero. And it will measure loss over time. So here's the time and here's the loss. It just lost one tenth of a PSI. So this gets a little bit of interference from some of the UV, I mean not UV, LED lights inside the shop. So as I walk around, LED lights mess with it. That's a real loud thing. So I went around the condenser. Oh no, I'm too close to that plug. Let me move the plug. The plug is a sort. You see that? There's so much radio interference in the electrical lines in this building that it picks it up. You see that? Nothing. I have the headphones in my ear. And, I, and what you feel here is, see right here? Around here, this is acting like an antenna. There's no leakage, but it's acting like an antenna. Nothing. Now let's look back up here. We lost six tenths of one PSI already in one minute and 17 seconds. Okay, you see this? I could hear it. This is the LED that's uh, interference with the ultrasonic leak detector. So don't pick, don't think that's a leak. Another one would be leaking shop hoses. Now watch this. I can hear, I can hear a pressure leak from the evaporator. So this is not a, I thought it was a body shop, but this has turned out, this is too new of a car. This is 2018. Okay, watch this. I can hear in my headphones the hissing of nitrogen coming out through a leak from the evaporator. That's how sensitive this is. I could hear it. Okay. So we have a leaky evaporator. God dang it, 2018. And this is a not a cheap car, it's a hybrid. It is a Kia. But um, does anybody know of these Kias having a evaporator problem? I'm gonna look for a TSB on this. And uh, I'm gonna pull up the mobile software program and see if they have information about a TSB or extended warranty or any problem with this vehicle. So we have a leaking evaporator. And, uh, but I'm gonna still fill it up. Or no, I'm, no, we're just gonna go for a leaky evaporator. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna fill it up to test it though. Okay guys, I'll see you back. Uh, evaporator, take care of it. Let's see if we can pick it up here. All right, come right here. No, it's not that loud. All right guys, see you later. Just dry nitrogen and a, a ultrasonic leak detector. It could find under vacuum too.